So, if you haven't read the new One Piece chapter yet, then go read that. And if you haven't seen my review, then go check it out right here. I'm going to be giving you guys, uh, you know, theories on theories on this chapter of One Piece. Because this was a huge chapter. And seeing what happened in this chapter had a lot of, you know, theories in my mind. Like, just piling up. So, you know, early in the chapter, you see, like, you know, Fujitora is like, uh, he, you know, he's a gambling man. And he needs um throw out the dice and it was a one so they decided they're not going to go after straw hats and you know after you know that one of the guys said like what's um okay you know said bring me law in straw hats head and you know um fujitora was just saying like you know you're acting very childish and says once the die has been cast a man shall not whine about his outcome so I could possibly see like fujitora clashing with Akainu. Akainu could probably like you know, get really, really pissed off and be looking like, they might clash or something like that. He might get demoted or I, I don't know. But something will happen between these two, like, in early. And, um, something will happen between these two in a future chapter. And then, like, in the next page, you see, like, uh, King Riku says, like, if I were to become king again, you'll be queen, Rebecca. And I'm like, wouldn't Re Viola be, like, next to be queen? But this has me really hyped up, like, you, you guys know from my uh, Nakama video that I, I want Viola to be a straw hat. And what if Viola like said like she didn't want to be the next queen and she might want to go off with straw hats. I mean, there was an earlier chapter with like Sanji and Viola. Like Sanji said like, what are you going to do after all this is done? And she says she doesn't know. She could, like Luffy could bring her along the straw hat crew, which would be awesome because... She has the power and the qualities to be a straw hat, and also they need another female because it's a huge sausage fest on that crew. But Rebecca being queen, I would reject that. But you know, as long as she is not a straw hat, like I want Viola to be a straw hat. So in the next page, everyone's really hyped up about this. Sanji, Nami, Chopper, and Brooke are back in this chapter, and they're on this this mysterious island with Caesar Clown. And you know, Caesar was talking about like. We were just aboard Big Mom's ship that's planned, and then why'd you have to get in trouble again? I would like to backtrack that, like, in another chapter. Not the next chapter, but maybe, like, chapter 797, maybe, or somewhere around where Luffy meets up with his crew again. Maybe they might backtrack to seeing, like, how did they escape Big Mom and, like, Capone? Like, like, how did the rest of them, like, escape Big Mom? Like, how did she, like, how did those guys, like, escape from big man like I, I would like to know like backtrack into a flashback even though i don't like flashbacks i would like to see a flashback of this how did they escape because a huge ship like that especially capone possibly allied with big man I'm like how did they escape from that like i would like to see that the island that they're on it looks like it could be zao like you know when I think of Zao, I think of, like, animals. And I think Scratchman of Who was on Zao once, like, in the anime. And there were, like, some huge creatures. People have been saying, like, Zao could be, like, you know, zoo. Like, you know, what's in the zoo? Animals. And, you know, what's in this chapter? Animals. And crazy, crazy people there. Like, this one guy. Like, when, um, Nami and Brooke were, like, running. Like, they, they, um... They were uh, lost, and it, I think it's like, we lost them, and it was all because of that strange girl. And, and we see it in, in her, her in the chapter, and we see these crazy animals. Like, it kind of looks like a crocodile or some type of animal. It looks like some type of crocodile, like, in this panel. And you see this this same dude. You know, he kind of looks like that guy that warned Kaido about, you know, Dolphinos failed us. Like, it kind of looked like him from chapter 793, and it could possibly be Kaido's crew. Like, Kaido could have, like, like, this could be part of Kaido's, like, land. Like, he probably conquers this whole island. Like, you see these guys, like, you, you see um them with these strange powers, and especially when you see Brooke going in against this guy, um, I believe they called him, uh, Master Sheep. Uh, Master Sheep, as she called, like, he has, like, the powers of sheep's, uh, horns, and I'm trying to figure out, like, th this has to be Kaido's crew, this has to be Kaido's crew, 
And I'll explain more once I get in more at the end of the chapter. And, you know, the rest of the Straw Hats are attacking. And, you're like, Master Sheep's been defeated. And, you know, that was pretty quick because Sanji's such a beast. And, you know, we get comedic stuff with her and Sanji. Like, the sheep. She's, like, um, having conversations like, you're creepy. And it, it was hilarious. And they, they're uh, trying to find a, a samurai. I don't know if they're referencing the Kinemon or maybe there was another samurai. And then you see the, the strange girl right there. That She could be part of Kaido's crew. She could be, like, one of those, um, be like Momosuke, uh, Momosuke and be, like, an experiment, like, you know, gone wrong. Like, you know, he, he's a dragon and she, like, transformed into a... Uh, Possibly reindeer type thing. Like, when I thought about that, she kind of looked like a, a female chopper. And I could be shipping these two if something happens in a later chapter. Uh, but right here, you see uh, a buckle of a, of a Jolly Roger with some horns. And I'll get I'll get that into it like later on. And then you see kids' base being like, annihilate and they're being attacked and they don't know who it is and they think it's like a shape of a human and they think it's like some type of like a uh, Sorajima. Oog Rouge, he, he he was there saying like, what are you doing? And then he says, leave him alone, high priest. See, that guy's trouble. And they're, they're up like 10,000 meters up like on Sky Island. And you know, it's, it's pretty good to see Sky Island again. But uh, He's about to dive, and then Uruj is like, um, I believe that's his narration. He's saying, the man that was looking the place to die, and then he does that whole Nemo thing, Namo. He does like this thing called Namo. Um, and then, uh, it's a, fug it's a fugitive on the run, attempts to take his own life, so he's like freaking suicidal. And, uh, he survived like 10,000 kinds of torture, being Taken by the Marine, uh, the na uh, being taken away by the Navy, like had a death sentence forty times, but they couldn't kill him. They tried hanging him. They tried the guillotine. They, that thing tried to kill him. They couldn't kill this guy, and he tr this guy tried to kill him. So, but ended up like destroying half of everybody on, like uh, Kid Apu and Hawkins' crew. Like they're being like down to the ground. And he's just like, ah, oh, damn it, my head hurts. And right there, we see Kaido. R right there. And and back what I said from the early... Do you see what he has? He has horns on top of him. And his horns. Like, if you saw the Jolly Roger right there. That has got to be a guy on his crew. And not to mention... These, these guys over here have to be on Kaido's crew. Like, one of them had sheep, had, like, uh, sheep's horns as, like, a weapon. W what does Kaido's crew have? They're supposed to be, like, an army of Zoan-type users. And this has, like, a Zoan-type. And not to mention that whole, um, the whole alligator situation. And they were, like, attacking the Straw Hats. That has to be Kaido's crew. Kaido has, like, control over Zhao. I'm pretty sure this is Zhao. Uh, like, if it's not Zhao, then I'm sorry, but uh, it's not classified yet, but I bet it's Zhao. Not to mention, that Kaido, Kaido, the, the 100 Beasts, like, uh, th this was an intense chapter. I mean, my theory on Kaido is, you know, earlier I said, like, Kaido probably has, like, he he has, like, some type of, like, double fruit that can transform into different types of animals. But looking right here, it's kind of hard to figure out if he is his own type. Because, you know, I think Law says something like he's not even human. He looks like he is kind of half human. But the dude, he has to have, like, some zone type. He has to be at least, like, some type of, like, some people have been saying, like, he looks like a devil. Sometimes they think he's a dragon. Some people think he's probably like some type of, uh, chupacabra or something. But I'm hyped up to see what he is. I, I still think Kaido probably has, like, the ability to transform it into any type of animal. Like, maybe his, his type of animal has to be, like, some type of, like, 
huge monster, like some type of Godzilla type monster, like. Not to mention, he said, like, he's going to start the biggest war of the century. I don't think it's going to be, like, one of those, like, final arcs of the biggest war. Like, like I, Oda, he said that the last arc is going to be a huge war. I don't think it's going to be by Kaido. I think it's going to be by the Marines and Bit Blackbeard and what revolutionaries. I think it's going to be, like, something like that. This right here, Kaido is probably going to, like, do something, like, versus, like, Go and get revenge off Joker, and then go up against the Straw Hats, and uh, this kind of stuff. Like, it's not gonna be the War of the Century. I don't think it's gonna be like nothing like that. It, it, if it ends up being Kyle as the final villain, that's that's gonna be shocking. That's gonna be. Uh, I have I will not see that coming. But ah oh, man, like he it. This has me like thinking like he says that wipe you really did a number on me like. I thought it was Shanks that, like, stopped Kaido from going towards Whitebeard to kill him, like, uh, we need to get backtrack on that, like, what happened during the fight with Shanks and Kaido, like, what happened there, like, did, did Whitebeard take on Kaido before he went off to Marine Ford to go save Ace, did he do that before that, or did, was, was that Shanks that took out Whitebeard, but he said, like, Whitebeard did a number on him, he didn't reference Shanks there, and the kid... Hawkins and Apu Alliance, they're, they are about to get wrecked. Like, I hope they don't die, like, in this arc, this post dress Rosa. I hope they don't get, I don't hope they die. I hope they don't die, because, but they're going to get wrecked. They're probably going to get highly injured from this. And not to mention, he's, like, the strongest man alive right now. Like, taking Whitebeard's place as the strongest man alive. He's the strongest man alive right now. He looks like some type of, like, ancient Chinese warrior. Kind of like a, like, Attila the Hun on steroids. Like, like if you've seen that Attila the Hun from, uh, Mulan, like, on steroids, like, to the max. But I can't wait to see what Kaido, what he does. I still think he probably has a devil for the transform into different types of zones. Like, that would be beast. That, that would be beast. I mean, it would make sense, like, Kaido of the 100 beasts, like, uh, it could be referencing his army. He could transform it into different types of zone types. I could be wrong. It's just my theory, you know. Lay it to rest. But uh, that's all I have to say. Also, did you guys notice he has a scar kind of similar to Luffy's right there? Like you know, he has like Luffy has his scar like across his, like his chest. It looks similar to Luffy's uh, scar right there. So if you didn't guys look at that, then. To go back and read it. Oh, man. That, that's all I have to say about my theories. I hope you guys liked it. Drop me a like if you did. If you're new, you haven't subscribed, and hit that subscribe button. That would be awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.